on the 20th day of October, Halloween gave to me 20 creepy stalkers, 19 Kiernan's time traveling, 18 zombie swatting, 17 Kegner screeching, 16 flying engines, 15 workplace accidents, 14 logs of bouncing, 13 planes exploding, 12 zombie soldiers, 11 angels wrestling, 10 ghostly hitchhikers, 9 basement clowns, 8 vampire cruises, 7 silent heroes, 6 prequel bloodstones, 5 diabolical fledglings, 4 vampire pianists, 3 dead professors, 2 Michelle actresses, and a radu drooling something bloody. Hey everyone, welcome to the 20th day of the 31 days of Halloween. Only 11 days left, but we are not slowing down and certainly not stopping as we come to our uh, 20th film of our celebration. This movie is called Influencer, and it is co-written and directed uh, by a guy named Curtis David Harder that I first uh, picked up on uh, in 2019, of all things. And uh, it was a movie called Spiral, which didn't get a lot of buzz, and it's not necessarily talked about a lot now, but I liked it a whole lot at the time. I haven't revisited it since, uh, although I should. And it was a, a really good indie horror film, and he comes back with another really good indie horror film. Uh, Influencer is the story of uh, a young woman uh, named uh, Madison or Maddie. And she is touring Thailand on her own. Uh, her boyfriend, Ryan, who is seems to be a social media influencer of his own or maybe a producer uh, or a coordinator. And uh, Ryan didn't come on this trip. She She's there by herself and is kind of sitting around the poolside doing a few little beach explorations here and there, but not really digging into the, the beauty of Thailand and so forth. And then she meets uh, another young woman named CW and uh, CW is portrayed by Cassandra node. Uh, I think is how you pronounce it in a U D if I'm mispronouncing it, apologies. Uh, Emily Tennant is playing Madison and we, we, see the two of them form a fairly quick bond uh, thanks to CW saving Maddie from uh, this weird British guy at a bar and CW says hey I've been in Thailand for a while I can help you out like, if you want to see Thailand for real I can show you Thailand for real and so she does they sort of hang out and uh, CW uh, takes her around to see some unusual locations and I'm going to get into slight spoilers here, but only spoilers for the pre-credit portion of the film. But there is kind of a late credit in it. Uh, so uh, if you don't want to know anything at all about Influencer, then you can stop right here, go watch Influencer, and come back, and then we can talk about it. Um, but uh, again, very, very mild spoilers uh, if you if you plunge ahead. And uh, so CW and Madison are becoming thick as thieves, if you will. And then CW says, hey, let's go out to this island I know about. And CW has her own boat, uh, kind of a little fishing boat, and takes her to this island, which is beautiful. And they stay overnight and they're drinking and they've got a bonfire on the beach and all of this. And Madison kind of jokes like, oh, you're going to kill me. And CW says, no, nope, absolutely not. I'm not going to kill you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you here. And when I leave you here, you're going to uh, realize that you don't have any food. Uh, and you're not going to have any fresh water, even though it's an island surrounded by water. You can't drink any of it. And after a few days, uh, you're going to die out here. And no one is ever going to know. And no one's ever going to care. Because all those people who follow you aren't real. They don't really care about you at all. They won't even know you're gone. And Madison kind of laughs that off and is like, oh, you're so silly, CW. But of course, she wakes up the next day and CW and the boat are gone. And that is where we get the title of our movie. So the rest of the movie then follows CW mostly. 
and things sort of unspool from there. And it's hard to know exactly how to talk about this because the movie is really about these little revelations and these little twists and turns through the story, and I don't want to spoil any of that. So I think I'm going to leave it there story-wise, uh, other than to say that I don't think the ending of the movie surprised me, but it was tremendously satisfying. So that being said, the, the movie itself is quite good. One of the things that makes the movie as good as it is is the interaction between Madison and CW and CW as a character. Uh, as I said, it is a, a role portrayed by Cassandra Node. And Cassandra Node has, I think it's called a Nevis, uh, is, is what it's called. Um, but it's this birthmark under her right eye that covers most of her right cheek. And it is she actually has it. It's not an affectation and it's not uh, a, a thing that they did for the film. It is just, you know, part of who she is. And it's very striking. Like, it's it, it's something that you can't ignore. And Cassandra Node is just, uh, like, this beautiful, striking woman. And, and I don't want to say, um, you know, irregardless of this uh, Nevis that she has, or even because of it. You know, it's just part of her, her, her makeup. Her personality by, by makeup, I mean. And it's it's just very distinctive. It's just one of those things that makes her uh, gives her a very uncommon kind of beauty. And she is alternately really captivating and interesting and malevolent and wounded and pained and funny. And, and like it, it's one of those performances that is going to, if there is any justice in the world, a performance that is going to launch her into greater success because she's so damn good in this movie. In a movie that's filled with pretty good performances, Cassandra Node is like, knock you on your heels, take your breath away, fantastic. And I think that this is going to be a launching pad for her because most of her performances up until now have been very, you know, like, you know, dancer number two, hoedown dancer number nine was one of her her roles. Uh, Shadow warrior number one, elf performer, scrub tech, like these real background kinds of roles. And this is going to be something that's really going to uh, put her front and center. And and she's in a movie coming up soon from uh, Tyler McIntyre of Tragedy Girls and. Uh, uh, what is the movie I like so much? Uh, Patchwork of Fame. And uh, she's going to be in one of uh, his films called uh, It's a Wonderful Knife. And I already like the title, and I love Tyler McIntyre, and I'm excited to see Cassandra Node working with a director I really like. And Curtis David Harder, as I mentioned, co-wrote and directed this, also did Spiral, which is a, a movie I quite like. And he has a great eye for the setting, you know, the, the movie looks great and it gets up close and personal with all the actors. Uh, it has an almost Demi esque close up fixation with a lot of the actors, which really works in this movie. It makes it very personal. And also I don't want to overstate what the movie is trying to say about social media and social influencers and things like that. Other than to say that Madison is not a vapid character who's just bouncing around another culture and doesn't have any respect for it and that kind of thing. Like, she's definitely someone that's constantly filming and constantly taking pictures of her food and that kind of thing. But she doesn't seem particularly happy about any of it. And that's one of the things that I think is is interesting about her character is that, um, you know, one of the things that the movie sells is that she is more than she seems. And I don't mean that in a your next kind of way. You know, she's not a survivalist or anything like that, but she is more than just a vapid social media influencer. And that, you know, so much of this movie is about perception of people and, you know, judging a book by its cover and, and all of that. And, how our pers 
our perception of a thing is not the thing, you know, and that's true of both social media. It's, it's uh, true of Madison. It's true of CW that what we see on the surface is not what truly is going on. And it, it's not a true representation of, of the, of the true nature of the thing. And that is very interesting. It's an interesting idea and it's explored in a number of different ways. The character of Ryan, who who shows up later in the movie, that he is not exactly what we think. And that's also uh, quite interesting. And yeah, I, like all of this stuff is, is really uh, uh, like adds up to a really interesting movie. Now, do I think it's something I'm going to think about, you know, five years from now as one of the great films of this year? I don't think so. I definitely will look back and and hopefully think, oh, that's the first time I ever saw Cassandra Node, and I never forgot that performance. And I will tell you right now, I will not forget her performance in this. I might forget the details of the movie and the way that I feel about it right now. I won't forget the fact that she knocked me on my ass as uh, an incredible performer. And uh, so, uh, you know, taking all of that into account... If you haven't seen Influencer, it's on Shudder. It's one of their original movies. We have talked about, you know, VHS 85, which was a, a Shudder original, and I wasn't really blown away by that. Um, but, you know, they come out with a movie like Influencer. Once again, Shudder just kind of giving something for all of its different audiences. Uh, you know, for people who want the blood and guts found footage stuff, which I kind of like. I just don't think VHS 85 is a great execution of that. But they're giving that, you know, throwing fresh meat out for that crew. And also something like Influencer, which is a much more thoughtful kind of movie. It's uh, not necessarily very gruesome, although there are a couple of moments that are like, oh, well, that's that's striking. But it's not that kind of movie. It's not a slasher film by any stretch. It's a much more idea and character driven film. And it's a really good idea and character driven film. Not great really good uh i still think maybe spiral is better as a movie i probably liked spiral more than i like this one but it's hard to divorce how much i was struck by cassandra node in the movie so a lot of the reason that i think this movie is so good is because of her like this movie would be a lesser film without her and uh but it, it's not but it does have her and and so it's hard to tell if I'm just kind of blown away by kind of seeing this actress that I've never seen before and I think is great, or if the movie itself is that good, uh, although it's it's not a bad movie by any stretch. In fact, it's it's something that you ought to see. Uh, and I think I'm going to kind of leave it there because I don't want to get into the territory of talking about the movie um, too much so that I overblow how good it is, and I certainly don't want to give away anything. But if you have seen Influencer then please drop a line over on the Discord and let's chat about that a little bit because I think it's well worth your time. I think it's a good movie. And uh, so that being said, uh, we launch into our final 10 days uh, from the 21st to the 31st, which technically is 11 days, but who's counting? And uh, we're going to get into uh, another you know, small run of, of the same thing. Uh, but then on the other side of that, we're going to do another original uh, movie, another standalone movie. And I'm excited to see that because I haven't even watched that one yet. So I'm excited to, to talk about that one as well. And then, you know, leading up to the big day, we've got a lot of stuff still left to talk about. I'm excited to do so. And uh, yeah, so thanks as always for joining me. Please go, if you've got Shutter, go check out Influencer and come by the Discord uh, and, and let me know what you thought of it. And let's, uh, let's chat about the end of it and how maybe it wasn't surprising, but still pretty satisfying. Uh, and, you know, uh, please have yourself a great spooky day. You know, here it is with uh, only 11 more days to go before uh, the big day. I hope you're enjoying the weather. It finally turned cool here in a way that, that's kind of wonderful. And I'm enjoying the horror movies. I'm enjoying, enjoying the leaves changing and falling. And, and the weather and the and this morning on my way to work there was a mist that had settled over the road so that it looked uh, especially eerie in the morning I just loved it so I love all of this stuff I'm having the best time thanks for joining me and come back tomorrow please if you would for another in the 31 days 
of Halloween. I'll see you then.